I'm sorry. If the smacking and stuff offends anybody, but I've not eaten a good meal at all. So I am not able to try to catch up and eat meals. Well, according to this, I don't need any. Yeah, I don't know this. Bought this big pack of chicken, eight bucks. Got enough chicken in there to last me a week. But with me, it don't last a week. Last two days tops. You don't last me a week either. Last me about two, three days. I'm shocked. Shocked? Shock what? I thought food usually lasts longer for you. Are you dead? <laughs> no, Are I'm you dead, No! Because you always, look, because you always talk about me eating so much in a little time span. Like for me, I could eat a whole package of bacon in one day. You, you see my point? <laughs> Matter of fact, if it was vegan, uh, if, it was, if it was the vegan, the vegetarian, uh, the vegetarian bacon, I would eat two packs of those a day. Oh my goodness! You, you knew that. Do not act like you didn't know that. You knew that. I forgot, I forgot about it. Didn't let me finish, Colonel Gaddafi. Yeah. Shame. All that soy. I'm going back to that soy, too. You better believe it. I'm going back to it. Ain't that soy put you on weight in the first place? Mm -mm. Nope. No? Too much of it did. Exactly my point. And now you're going to be eating two packages of vegetarian bacon, all that soy. No, I won't. No, I won't. Then you're not going to help yourself. Get past it. Mm -hmm. That stomach going to be rubbling for that, for no. that stuff. No. Boy, you going mm. No. I'm going back to what I did. Vegetarian bacon. I do a whole pack of vegetarian bacon, but I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try to do six pieces. Grapes. Bananas, water, for preference. That's how I used to do it. I guess that's not so bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you try to be ignorant about it, that's fine. <laughs> That's fine. But I think I have a much bigger problem. And it's something that I can't discuss now. It has to be one on one. I think I got a very serious problem. Oh, I don't want to hear this. I don't want to hear this. Let's just say that same thing. You had just a couple of days ago is something that I may be having now. Oh. 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 Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. I see. But there's another flip side to the whole ordeal, too. That's it. But other than that, who played Monday night? Titans and Cowboys. All right, about this week. Last right, week, I forgot. Titans and Cowboys. You know who I ain't heard from? 
Oh. Ezekiel Elliott. I don't even know if he's still, if he's hurt. I don't know. Let's find out. I haven't heard much from him. According to NFL.com or the mobile app, here is shoot. 11 and 14 on third downs. Tight. Uh-huh. 11 and 14 on third downs. That was the Titans. Dang. They did a heck of a job converting on them third downs. Yeah. Oh, he did play. Wow. Seven, 17 attempts for 61 yards. He's a big mastermind of the running game, isn't he? Mm-hmm. He's called the Prescott 2 for 11. You mean he was 2 for 11 or 2 for <laughs> he rushed. He had two attempts for wow. 11 yards. <laughs> Man, I'll get ready. Right <laughs> I was going to say. Man, that if would he be. Was two for 11, he should have been bent. Man, that would have been the trend of the day. Him alone. Well, let me tell you what the trend of the day is. Despite all these problems with the Cowboys that they're dealing with, Jerry Jones has decided that there is not going to be a coach change. Girl, I honestly don't know what to say about that except to call the press guy was 21 for 31, 243 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. If Jerry Jones says that there is no coaching change or that he will not have a coaching change, expect a coaching change. Well, they need one. I don't know what he's waiting on. He was about seven years overdue. What, after Wade Phillips? I think so, yeah. Durham. Not only are they overdue, but it's just not going to Forget it. It ain't gonna work with him. No, I'm just gonna be honest with you. If the Cowboys really want to shot while Jason Garrett is still coaching, they need to come and try to find a way to terminate Greg Olson's contract with the Carolina Panthers and bring him to the Cowboys. Well, here's the thing. If anything, I just think that Jason Garrett just needs to be demoted back down to a quarterback's coach. Or two, a quarterback's coach. I could dig it. I could dig it. But he would have been out so He would have been trying to find a quarterback to coach a job elsewhere. No, I let him stick with Dakota Prescott because he's been around since Dakota Prescott came into the NFL. I wouldn't switch a coaching. I wouldn't switch that because of that. I would rather have them two together so they could continue to work together. Well, you got to kind of think about that Mark Jackson, Steve Kerr transition and how that makes that curry. That's true. But I don't think Jason Garrett is fit. I think Jason Garrett is the transit, the transition. Stephen Curry was the transition when Steve Kerr came in. But I think Jason Garrett needs to be put as a quarterback's coach in order for Dakota Prescott to make that better change. You mentioned that. You mentioned 
That's what's missing. Salt. Salt. I knew something was missing. The salt. Oh, that and vegetables. Oh, well. No vegetable for this pill. Jason Garrett has been coaching the Cowboys literally since 2011. Wait, one more time? Jason Garrett has been coaching the Cowboys since 2011. Wait a minute. What is this? Uh Uh-oh. This is interesting. Hmm. This is how you know stuff is rumored. What's rumored? It's not true, but the same Jason Garrett has been fired. Oh, that is definitely not true. And if it is, I did not just sit here and tell you if you don't expect a culture change, expect one anyway. Mm-hmm. But I don't think that's true. I don't have enough proof yet. So I'm just going to say he's still coaching. Let me see. Because this show ain't on the news. Nah. Jerry Jones doesn't expect coaching changes. There's no breaking news. I don't see nothing. And according to NFL.com, the Dallas Cowboys current head coach is still Jason Garrett. Well, I know Baltimore's going to get rid of John Harbaugh. I have a strong suspicion feeling on that. I don't think the Cowboys pick him up. Good one. But here's another one. Mike McCarthy. He might be gone. If Green Bay finished under 500, I think he will be gone. I don't think about him. Mike McCarthy, he's another one. They are too busy wanting to rumor Aaron Rodgers to ban the trade after the season. Mr. Rodgers' like, neighborhood. Now, like, what do you think he would just, just go and just get traded to someone else to, to another team? Hey, he's worked a lot. They would just release him. They wouldn't trade him. Yeah. He's worked a lot. Yeah. He's a draft pick. Yeah, he's a draft pick. Man, he's more than oh. that. He's, I think he's maybe one or two superstars has some draft picks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, so you take that loss against New England and y'all consider that a done deal? I would consider it a done deal. Now, what, what, do, you, what do you consider always to a New England as an advantage? Cheating. Boom. There you go. There's your advantage. I just want to say, I ain't worried about that. I was cheating. Yeah. No doubt. Wherever Green Bay pack practice, that's where they got cameras at. They can't prepare. Know how that is. Who, New England, they can't prepare to cheat. Really? Yeah. Of course. Delicious. Just need some salt. Look good, but I'm just hungry.
Oh, um, week 10, NBA, I was watching the San Antonio Spurs trip to the White House in 2014. Mr. Obama does what he do best, <laughs> start jelling on everybody, jelling on pops, jelling on the team, jelling on Tim Duncan. Does what he do best. Oh. Mm. Whoo! Mm -hmm. Don't, mm -hmm. Don't judge me. Okay. Excuse you. Load out. What you mean is done? Mm. Excuse me. I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna say what the late great Luther Vandross will say. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Yeah, I bet. I bet. It's just too bad I can't say what I really want to say on camera. That's good. Because I would let you have it. I would let it rip. Because it ain't just two words. It's more than two words. I know what you thinking. It ain't those two words. I got some more words for you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Got anything else? Nah, man. That's it. All right. Let's wrap this yeah. baby on up and get on out of here. Yeah. Thank you for watching our podcast. We hope you enjoyed it. But until then, we will see you on the NBA podcast. But until then, ciao. Ciao.